guys have ever fought have come with me. I've got my man Eric Molina. Uh, first, Eric, how are you doing? I'm good, man. Uh, we just finished the press conference. Feeling good, man. And uh, excited to be here. What did you think of the reaction of the press conference? A lot of media come out for you today. Something you used to something you've seen before? No, I, d I think definitely this is this is the biggest stage that I've seen actually uh, as far as a, for a fight. And uh, I'm excited to be a part of this, man. Blessed to be here and, uh, you know, just uh, share my story with him. Eric, break down Anthony Joshua. What do you think of him as a fighter? Anthony Joshua, I feel like he's a great athlete. He's got great size, great strength. Superior athlete. Um, I like his attitude outside the ring. Um, carries himself. You know, very professional. Um, I got nothing negative to say about him. You know what I mean? I really don't. So. What weaknesses do you see in Anthony that um, you can possess on, on December 10th? I think we 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 we've uh, located some some weaknesses in this game. Some holes I want to like not so much weakness, but some holes. Every fighter's got them, and I wouldn't say necessarily a hole, but. Every fighter's got their strength and they got their weakness. And uh, just like I got my strength and my weakness, we're looking to execute uh, our game plan around his weaknesses. And uh, if it's my destiny to become champion December 10th, that's what will happen. And if not, well, so be it. Just like Joshua said. You've come into the UK to fight Anthony Joshua pretty much at home. Uh, what are your thoughts about leaving the States and coming into, as he calls it, the Lions Den to take him on? Yeah, I, I think that's going to be the most important thing in a fight like this, you know. Yeah, I've been in, in these type of fights before, you know, when I faced Wilder. That was a very tough atmosphere to to fight in. And and, and uh, even going down to Poland to fight Adamac, you know. But I feel this is going to be in maybe double or triple the, the stage. I think it's going to be very important to stay mentally focused, stay relaxed, and, and, and stick to the game plan and execute. Um, I don't know what to expect out here in this type of stage, but I can say I've been in big fights before, and uh, I know that that's going to be extremely important. You mentioned working full time before taking boxing professionally yeah. outside. Of what was your full time job, then? and what was it like mixing your job and your boxing together? Well, I mean, I, I've been boxing for nine years of my life. You know, I didn't have no amateur experience, so there's always been something else in boxing. But that, that's just been my story. Every 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 fighter's got a different story. That's been my story for five for five years. Uh, I was a high school teacher who worked with you know, disabled students, and uh, this past May, after the Adam fight, uh, I decided to take a year off. I've been focusing in on my on my boxing, and uh, and uh, and I'm here now. So you know, I'm blessed to be here in a fight like this, and I'm ready to just give everything that I got. Finally, out of bouncing back, you mentioned that. Explain that to the audience and how important is it to someone like you? Well, the, the art of bouncing back is, like I, I, tell, I tell some of these guys, the world, again, once again, is giving me no chance, okay? I've heard this against Wilder. I've heard this since the first day of my career when I turned pro and got knocked out in the first round, but I bounced back. I've shown the world my character. I've shown the world what I can do. I've shown the world that I can fall down and get up, regroup, and bounce back. This is a, a, a unforgiving sport, and uh, I'm proud of the story that I bring to the table because the fighter and, and fighters know out there. The casual fan doesn't understand how hard it is for a fighter to bounce back and regroup. The casual fan doesn't understand that. But the, but, but the fighter that has been and lived through that understands. I've done that. I've been blessed with the ability to do that multiple times in my career. The world wrote me off in the Wilder fight. They didn't give me one round, and I came and almost snatched the title from him. And once again, they're making the mistake, and they're saying, this guy, no way, no way, he's going to get murdered. I've heard these things before. I've heard them all before. They do not phase me. It's all part of the art of bouncing back. Inside me, I bring everything that I got and everything that I have is gonna be left inside that ring December 10th.